Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is Tuesday's edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk. First up, the Metro have said that we have made a £26 million uh, transfer bid for Sassuola in Italy's striker, Domenico Berardi. He's not just a striker, he can also play in the three behind the front man. He's 21 years old, he has scored 45 goals in 117 games for Sassuola. He's six foot one, and let's face it, Sassuola are not a big Italian club. They've done well in the last few seasons in Serie A, but they're not a big club. They're kind of the equivalent to maybe a Sunderland or somewhere like that. So if there was a young Sunderland striker scoring that many goals, I think we would be sniffing about him. The other thing I know about, uh, about this player, Berardi, I've had him on Football Manager in the last two games and he's an absolute wonder kid. Scores loads of goals and let's face it, when have Football Manager ever been wrong? Except for when they got Harry Kane's stats wrong and had to apologise to him in person and he tweeted about it just a few weeks ago, etc, etc. So in terms of my uh, ch the chances of this happening in terms of ratings, I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 5 because it's only rumours at the moment. But it does strike me that a 21-year-old striker from abroad might be our way of getting someone in to ease the burden on Harry Kane. Let me know what you think of Berardi in the comments below. Let me know if you've seen him, whether you like the look of him, etc, etc. Second bit of transfer news today. Again, it's all about Andros Townsend. It doesn't go away. He's obviously desperate for a move. Rumours are that he prefers going to Newcastle than to Tony Pulis's West Brom side. Now that to me strikes me of like maybe he thinks he's got more chance of getting in the Newcastle side because Newcastle obviously famously are a comedy club. Nobody would actually want to go there, surely. I'd rather go to a West Brom side with Tony Pulis who you know is defensively organised and uh, then lets his wingers play a little bit. But that apparently is what Townsend uh, is into. Uh, he scored two goals uh, just last night against Chelsea in the under-21s in a classic Old Spurs 5-4 loss. Uh, and the standard have said as well, the evening standard have said that we've rejected a 10 million pound bid for him from Watford. Uh, I think a Watford move for him would be good actually because he'd stay in London and he'd get a good chance in a team who are doing well. But for some reason, rumours are Newcastle. Doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, chance of this move happening, four out of five. Townsend's definitely going to go. He's staying fit, playing in the under 21s to get his move. He's definitely going to go as long as they bid somewhere where Daniel Levy's going to be happy. Finally, another bit of uh, transfer rumour that won't go away. Berahino, again, kicking up a fuss, isn't he? His agent's kicking up a fuss. All he's saying now is he doesn't want to go to Newcastle to bid for him. He doesn't want to go to Liverpool, who apparently is sniffing about him. He wants to come to Spurs. He wants to come to the lane. He's basically parking his car outside the training ground, waiting for it to happen. Will it happen? I don't know. It'll all be about the money. Whether Levy's willing to bid, whether Peace is ready, uh, ready to listen, it'll go to the final day again. I'll be standing here at 6.01 p.m. on the final day of the transfer deadline saying, we haven't signed anyone. It's almost inevitable, isn't it? We know it'll happen. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Will we sign anyone? Will Berardi come? Will Berahino come? Ugh, probably not. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Anyway, more importantly, like I said, we're still in the cup and there were some good performances out there today. I thought Kevin Vimmer looked good. I 